Thank you guys so much for the support on the last video. That video has 600,000 views and hit 100,000 likes, meaning that we are now going to be visiting the dark web version of the Internet Strangers websites. This is the final and technically fourth part of the series, so I made a playlist that you can check out at the top right of the screen if you want to watch all the episodes. For my safety and yours, I will not be sharing the links of the websites I visited, and there will be a lot of censorship, as I'm sure you'd understand why. Anyway, my name is Tuv, and today we'll be talking about the dark web strangest websites. I definitely don't look like the type of dude that's gonna go on the dark web for a video. Anyway, welcome back to another video, guys. In case you guys haven't noticed, there is something different. That is right, my hair is blue. If you guys see any color other than blue, please go to an eye doctor and get yourself checked out. And thank you guys so much for 860,000 subscribers. We're closing in on 900,000, and when we hit 900,000, that's the final stretch to 1 million. Stay tuned for the 1 million specials. There's gonna be two. There's gonna be, you know, a normal speech that I always do for these big milestones, and I'm also gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and collaborate with someone. I don't know if you guys know of him. He's not. He's He's not that big, but uh, he's very moist. Yeah. He's a small content creator, all right? So I'm, I'm gonna put him on. <laughs> we'll talk more about that at 1 million. As you guys know, a lot of morbid content creators don't really get monetized. So I'm really grateful that we have a lot of sponsors on the channel. And today's sponsor is Raid Shadow Legends. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends has taken over and gaming will never be the same. Raid is the first game to bring a true console level experience straight to your phone. They set the bar pretty high and let's just say, you're not gonna go back. Explore millions of champion combinations and master countless tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and PvP arena matches. With hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 600 champions blessed with unique skills, you can build your team, develop your champions, and raid your way. I've been playing Raid for a while now, and let me tell you about two champions I've been using. Now, Raglan is easily the best reviver in Raid. She revives a single target, fills her turn meter, and gives them a little bit of health too. But the best part, it has a two-turn cooldown, making her the fastest reviver, period. I also gotta mention my guy, Royal Guard. I've been using Royal Guard for one thing only, destroying bosses. He has an extremely powerful ability that scales damage based on the enemy's max HP, in addition to all the other damage it deals. Look, when you guys download the game, Royal Guard, the way to go. This month is Raid's three-year anniversary, and the celebration are gonna be huge. Check this out. Raid's first ever champion skins. They look so amazing and I can't wait to get my hands on them. I mean, just look at them. This is the best time to get started in Raid. And if you click the link in my description, you'll get a free starter pack worth almost $40. We're talking three free champions at once, Misericord, Tiger Soul, Romero, plus 10 Magic XP Brews, 10 Force XP Brews, and 10 Spirit XP Brews. All this treasure will be waiting for you right here at the top right and it's that easy. Just click the link in the description and I'll see you in the game. All right, let's continue with the video. Intro. All right, so one thing I want to say about the dark web, because I know we have a bunch of new subscribers, and for real, make sure to go watch the other parts of this series. Anyway, in case you guys don't know about the dark web, you can only access it using Tor Web Browser. Not Google Chrome, not Firefox, not Internet Explorer. I don't know why you would use that anyway. This allows you to go into websites that end with dot .onion. The websites usually consist of random numbers and random letters, and then dot .onion. So why is this video going to be different from all the other ones? In part one of the dark web strangers websites, I felt like I covered all the basic stuff. Yeah, illegal stuff happens on the dark web we all know that but this time i went the deepest i have ever gone on the dark web and let me tell you right now i don't want to go back i've never been as scared on websites as i was with this yeah i don't plan on going back i mean i, I probably will go back but i don't plan on going this deep i felt like browsing this website i was put on some sort of like fbi list or some shit so make sure to leave a like all right but yeah in the last video we covered the basics and this time i just decided to keep clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking so i usually make a list of disturbing websites and go over them briefly but in this video, we're only going to go over three websites and I'm not going to be mentioning the names. Why am I not going to be mentioning the names? Because I don't want the owners of those dark websites to be like, hey, Tuv, we're going to murder you now. No, no, I'm not mentioning anything. We're just talking about them. That is it. So three websites and then we're going to be talking about a disturbing document that I found on the dark web. Now, this document contains some of the most vile stuff I've ever witnessed. And it's crazy that this document provides image proof, which I will not be showing. I'll kind of describe them but i'll tell you guys right now it is worse than the most banned video on the internet that i made a video on like a couple months ago you know what i'm not going to explain we're going to talk about it later in the video so sit tight sit tight <laughs> honeypots in part one a lot of people commented that there's a huge chance the websites on the list were just honeypots a honeypot website is meant to record and steal information that the user inputs onto the website for example let's say a user wanted to buy illegal drugs on the dark web puts in their credit card info their address someone else now has that information right the owner of the website and they 
pages got scammed and their information got stolen from them. Though not all honeypots are made by people with malintent, FBI honeypots are also extremely prominent. The FBI will create fake dark web marketplaces, list items, wait for users to buy the product, and then charge them with whatever they need to be charged with. Most likely gonna be arrested, right? If you're in the dark web with intent just to buy something, you're probably buying something extremely illegal, so they're probably gonna raid your house, if I'm being honest. All right, so now let's go over the certain websites I found. Revenge Now you might be saying, we already covered revenge in the last video. Yes, but those websites were taken down. As I was clicking around, I found a fully functional and up-to-date revenge site. In case you guys don't know, revenge is the concept of sharing an ex-partner's nudes publicly without their consent. And websites have been created where people just buy, sell, or trade their ex-partner's nudes. Doesn't necessarily have to be an ex-partner, could be just a random person. It's honestly pretty horrible. I had never come across any of these websites until now. I won't be sharing the name of the website, but I'll show you guys the layout. So right out of the gate, you're given a list of female names to browse through. If you click on a name, you can see their information such as full name, country, city, state, date of birth, email, phone number, along with their socials. Some may or may not be filled out. The website shows you previews of the girl's nudes, but blurs them out. How do you unblur them? Well, you become a member. There are two options, the Lifetime Basic and the Lifetime Premium. Lifetime Basic costs $150 and includes Lifetime Membership, Daily Updates, 101 gigabytes in leaked amateur content, which is 69,307 photos and 3,405 videos, along with 850 million 293 1,118 leaked records. That means usernames, emails, passwords, and the lifetime premium costs $500 and includes everything previously mentioned, plus a VIP section, an IP cam section, spy cam recordings, NAS Synology section, and unsorted content, which apparently they have 10 terabytes worth of. So yeah, the IP cam section, it's like, Dude, I feel so bad for the girls that don't even know their laptop is hacked and people are just watching them. Random people are just watching them. Going to the cam section, you can see that they have tabs for living rooms, bedrooms, bathrooms, changing rooms, hidden cameras, and more. Apparently, they're broadcasting from 3,312 different webcams. I just quickly want to let everyone know to please invest in webcam covers. I use one for my laptop and I also use one for my Logitech webcam. First of all, you shouldn't be downloading random files on the internet unless you know the source because that's most likely how they're cameras got hacked, right? They downloaded a file. Oh, virus. I'm not sponsored by any webcam cover company. Don't be afraid to reach out guys if you exist, but I just want to let you guys know that and I'll provide some Amazon links in case you guys want to buy some webcam covers. Disgusting fantasies. All right, I'm just going to get straight into what I mean. Philic fantasies about little boys, but somehow legally. Yeah, because writing a story isn't necessarily illegal. Writing these extremely gross and detailed stories is legal. And I found a website that just hosts a bunch of these stories, you know, just a bunch of, <laughs> what do you, what, they, do they call themselves authors? No, they should be called fucking files. But um, let's take a look at their homepage. Welcome to, and then there's the name, which I'm gonna blur out, for adults only. This site contains content that might be considered offensive. If you are offended by adult stories depicting nudity, humiliation, non-consensual, sexual, and other physical abuse of if you are not of legal age, or if this type of material is not legal in your jurisdiction, do not enter. This site contains absolutely no videos, photos, 3D rendered art, or other illustrations of or adults. If you're looking for any of that, you're in the wrong place. It's basically saying, we have a bunch of these like fantasy stories about little boys Oh my god, bro, I can't believe I'm talking about this. They also have a legal stuff section where they explain the legality of these fan fictions and how they do not condone the real life behavior beyond the stories. Not only that, but they have two philic prevention campaign advertisements to deter the users from doing anything in real life. They're obviously only doing this so it seems like, hey, we're actually the good guys. We're preventing this stuff from happening in real life. When in reality, they're just providing the acceptance, normalization, and culture of files. I'm not gonna lie, that's some of the dumbest shit I've seen in a while. But guess what, guys? It's still legal. While I was clicking around, I saw another website that led you to a page of 3D little boys and suggestive positions. I'm not even gonna say it, but you know what I mean. I did not visit that website because first of all, it's fucking disgusting. Second, that's actually still illegal. Doesn't matter if it's a 3D model, doesn't matter if it's a drawing, it's still a minor and it's still illegal to have on your device. Take Lolly for example. Even though they're just drawings, you can be arrested and charged with a crime if you possess Lollycon in any form. Other countries have also enacted laws making Lollycon and Shotokan illegal. It's honest to God so fucking stomach turning and Bro, in the story section, there's like a little community. It was fucking gross, man. Like, to them, it's just normal. To them, it's just fucking normal. And I don't like, whenever I talk about this topic, obviously, I'm going to be mad. But like, 
Fuck, man. I want to move on from this statement. Just to let you guys know, it's fucking gross. That, that's what I'm trying to say. It's fucking gross and should be illegal. Snuff films. Snuff films are graphic movies with actual murders. The sexual act could be done before, during, or after the murder. I wanted to briefly read the description of this certain website I found, which was actually online, which means, you know, the website is fully functional at this point in time. Nah, I didn't, I don't want to click it, bruh. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, like, call me a p I don't go fuck. I did not want to click that. But here, welcome to We offer the best collection of real snuff and authentic R-word pictures and video clips thousands of photos videos comics and books join us for your very special never forget experience for a small one-time fee you have unlimited access forever we add always new forbidden content completely safe and anonymous the document now what does the document mean i debated making this entire video just about the document and just naming the video the document but Let's talk about it. While I was browsing the dark web, I came across this copy and paste website, just a little paste bin website. It was a blank document. You could type anything you want and just submit it anonymously. And there's like a bunch of people submitting their own documents. I'm assuming this is probably the way people advertise themselves. I ended up finding this document of an unknown entity that I will not be naming selling a lot of illegal stuff. And the the stuff on that document is absolutely fucking insane. The worst part is that they provide image proof. So they provide image proof by using these web links. Everything that I'm about to say is real and they provide some video proof too. I did check out some of them and oh my God, I never want to go back. Like dead ass, I never want to fucking go back. I never want to see those images again, but it is real. I'm letting you guys know this shit is real. Let's go over the document. I was actually kind of stupid and I downloaded the fucking text document. I don't know why I downloaded it. I downloaded something from the dark web. It's on my computer now. It's just a .txt file. If you guys have any antivirus programs that you guys recommend, let me know because, uh, yeah. So the first thing they're claiming to sell are guns. We have sniper rifles, Mossberg 500, TOZ rifles, Kalashnikov rifles. I've never heard of that, but it says made in Russia, not China. Uzis, Heckler and Koch. I don't know how to say that. Grenades, explosives. Grenades and explosives will be delivered only with our courier delivery. And here they provide a bunch of proof. So the way they provide the proof is they take a picture of whatever they need to, and then they just have a piece of paper and they write their name on there. I'm not going to say the name again. I don't even know if it's one person or a group. I don't know. They also sell rare animal skins, big choice of rare animal skins, professional finishing, ideal conditions. They sell Bitcoin wallets for sale with proof. Okay, so this isn't really anything different from the other video. So let's just get into something shocking. This one, bro, this is what really got me. Video filmed according to your script with torture, R word, snuff, etc. We need from you how many actors will be, race, gender, and your script slash scenario. <sighs> I can't believe I'm going to read this, but the youngest actor we had four days after she is born, the oldest actor we had 93 year old woman. I'm assuming it's people, it's kidnapped people and they're just being tortured and used for anyone who wants to buy a video, right? Anyone who wants to buy, send them. Let's see. Actually, we can see the price. Let's see. It actually doesn't say the price for the videos, but uh, it has some images and showed their like little torture room. They also sell this was one. This is the one that caught me off guard, bro. Baby smoothies. Now, what do you think that is? It's literally I don't oh my God. Blended up babies in smoothies. A classic smoothie is a drink made from pure raw fruit and or vegetables using a blender. Classic smoothie is a healthy type of cocktail that you can drink for breakfast or a bit later. But we have a special smoothie. It's made from newborns. We place in blender the newborn with or without legs slash hands slash head at your request and blend until the mixture is smooth and frothy. Frothy? Is that even a word? Plus, we may add their other ingredients such as fruits, vegetables, non-dairy milk, sweeteners, honey or sugar, powder, chocolate, nutritional supplements, among others of your personal choice. Price? $3,000 to $6,000 for one liter. Depends on newborn age from one to two weeks to a few months. Race and gender. And then they provide image and video proof of that. Product will be safely delivered in a special container labeled as Sport Nutrition. Plus, you'll get a video of creating smoothie from start to finish, so you can be sure of what you are receiving. Lovers of this delicacy really like it. They write that it is an indescribable taste and unforgettable sensations. Store smoothies from newborns strictly in the refrigerator or cool place. Um, you can also buy male and female genitalia, just like sep like they're obviously they're they kill someone they cut it off and they send it to you safe and secure container will be transferred and marked as for medical school so they got their own methods to you know make it seem legit they have drugs they have methamphetamine cocaine and 
I'm, I don't even know how to pronounce that one. They also have precursor chemicals for drug producing, and they also have another section for date drugs. Date, R word, drugs. And then they claim that it quickly dissolves in water, begins to act in 15 to 20 minutes. The duration of exposure is more than six hours. They're colorless and odorless, can be mixed with alcohol. Then we also have dark web videos, and those are extremely illegal. I've heard about these, especially when I was talking about downloading. They're not dark web videos, they're like just like murder videos. Um, and like infamous murder videos. It's random. They have one called first YouTube video not me at the zoo Like what like wh why does that even matter? What? by reading the names? I recognize some of them. It's extremely fucking illegal They're also selling the Logan Paul video. You guys know which one which is a complete shot to me was like a youtuber on this list What was going on? But you know what Logan Paul video I'm talking about and it says that it's at 720 60 FPS Here's another video called penis out through meat grinder for that one I actually did check out their image proof and wow um, I'm never gonna get that image out of my head. They're also selling texts, like, I guess just like text files. We have Atomic Renovation, How to Exit the Matrix, Hello Kitty Real Origin, Polaris Network Setup, Insider Leaks. I mean, the other ones are just kind of boring. Dialogue with Illuminati Insider, that's 61 pages. Honestly, that's, uh, that's the end of the list. Like I was saying, this is some of the, this is like the most, oh my god, this is, I never want to go this deep into the dark web. I'll go regular dark web, just go searching around, fucking around, but like, nah, nah. I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone, like seriously. And you guys, don't worry about my mental health. A lot of people comment like, I hope your mental health is good. It's good, bro. I'm gonna go play GTA after this, right? But thank you guys so much for just supporting me. Like, honestly, it's, it's a blessing. It is a fucking blessing that you guys like me. And I'm so grateful you guys really like me. And hopefully, um, hopefully I'm doing good by the time this video comes out. Because I'm planning on releasing this video when I'm in surgery. So I don't want to say why I'm in surgery. This is, I don't want to talk about it that much, but... It's surgery that I need medically and I've needed it all my life. So I'm probably, when this video comes out, I'm going to be knocked out. Like, I'm, <laughs> wow. So I'm, the video may, the videos may be slowing down. I don't know because I'm going to be recovering, but I'm still going to try my best to get some videos out. Don't worry about me. Go on with your life and I'll see you guys. Actually, leave a like on the video and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys next time I upload.